Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through my everyday hair and makeup routine. This is what I do basically every day of the week, going to work or running errands. Unless I need to be a little bit more glam, I'll add a little bit more of an eyeshadow look, but otherwise I keep it pretty simple. I've already washed and applied this moisturizer about an hour before this, but because it is winter season, my skin is super dry and this product is very buildable, so I just add a little bit more of the glossy priming moisturizer to my skin. Could definitely use a little bit more before I add some products that can sort of dry out your skin as the winter season goes on. My eyes get so, so dry, so I like to pack it on in there. After moisturizing, I go in with the Maybelline Eraser Age Rewind Foundation. I really, really love this product. I've been using it for about a year now. I actually first discovered it when I was watching Laura Reed's vlogs on YouTube when I was planning a trip to the Philippines. You should definitely check her out if you're ever traveling or just fashion in general. She recommended this because it was just super easy to keep in your bag and apply. You just kind of twist the top and use the sponge and like rub it under your hands. I like using a beauty blender as opposed to my hands on an everyday basis just because I find it gives me a really good sheer coverage and evens everything out in the skin. After my foundation's all blended in, I like to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Currently I'm in the shade Light 2 Vanilla and that is because I'm at my absolute palest. It is no longer summer, that's for sure. And I just like to apply this in a couple of areas. I don't go too crazy on my everyday just because I don't want to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I had a couple of spots that I wanted to cover. My under eyes just because I'm always tired. And around the nose just because of a little bit of redness that I tend to get. I have pretty bad sinuses. Um, so I like to really get in there and cover that space as much as I can. Usually I set it with a powder. I didn't use a setting powder in this video because I really don't use setting powder on a day-to-day -day basis, but sometimes I'll get in there with a the powder just to make sure everything's locked and loaded for the day. Um, I am using a beauty blender. I tend to use a beauty blender for concealer just because I find that it takes away a little bit of product once you do use it on your skin. I don't want it to be looking like I'm wearing too much concealer in certain areas. Um, and then I like to move my nose over. I know that seems so strange, but I like to just get in that crevice. Sometimes makeup can cake up in there and it just looks really odd. Um, and I use the heat of my finger to get it in there just because sometimes your beauty blender is, just doesn't do the job. I think hands, hands are your first tool in life. Once my foundation's done, I like to go in and draw in my brows. I really have pretty okay brows. Um, I've never really plucked them or over plucked them, but I do have a little bit of sparse hairs in the front that I just like to fill in just to even everything out. I've been using the Brow Boss pencil from ColourPop recently, um, probably for about two months, and I really, really like this product. I think it blends really easily. I kind of just draw in the front a little bit and even out the face. Most of the time my eyebrows are friends. Sometimes they can be enemies and not work, but I mean, who's really looking that close? Maybe you are in this video. After I've sort of lined where I want my brows to actually be, um, I like to use the spoolie on the other end. I find that with this product, since I've had it, I've bought both the ColourPop brow pencils and I've had the problem where the spoolie pops off. I don't know if anyone's had that. I would love to know if you would leave that in the comment box below just because it drives me absolutely insane. I feel like I'm the only one. I like to brush out my brows and evenly distribute the product through them. I don't like to use too much. I obviously want to keep this pencil for a little while and I find that I go through pencils really, really quickly. After I've penciled in my brows, I like to go in with a gel of some sort. I have two at the moment that I've been going back and forth from. I'm using this one today. It's the ColourPop, just the clear brow boss gel. Um, a lot of product does come out. It's kind of frustrating just because it can make your eyebrows look really dull. You'll see me in a couple of seconds make a face when it does gloop out onto my eyebrow. Kind of frustrating, but you do what you gotta do. Um, otherwise, I like to go back and forth with the Glossier brow boss gel in dark brown or brown. Um, I like to use that when I'm trying to do maybe a little bit more of an intense eyebrow, but today I was just keeping it super natural. So just brushing up the hairs and making them look youthful and alive again and not penciled down because nobody wants that. I mean, some girls do, but I don't.
After my whole face is set, I like to go in with a bronzer just to add some color back to my face. Recently, I've been obsessed with this one from ColourPop. As you can tell, my palette is super gross looking from my face. Um, they are white palettes though, so it's really never going to look that cute when you open it, unless you wipe it off every day. I've been obsessed with this bronzer since I received it a couple months back. I haven't even gone back to my ride or die hula from Benefit like most women. Um, I just really, really like this bronzer. It's much more natural and much less orange than the Hula, which I find is great when I have a tan, but currently I do not, and I won't have a tan for probably a couple months. Even if I go to Mexico for a week in the winter, I'm not going to have a tan. So this one's super natural. It blends in your skin. It doesn't sit on top of it, which is really, really nice, especially if you have dry skin in the winter. It just kind of gets in there and makes you look like you're a little bit sun-kissed, even though you're faking it. After I've applied bronzer to my whole face, I like to go in with my ring finger and grab a little bit and apply it to my nose as a slight contour, nothing too drastic or crazy. Um, I just like to add a little bit of depth to my face. I don't think that I have a big nose and I've been told that I don't, but I have a bit of a button and I like to sort of narrow it down a little bit. It's a me thing. No one else really sees this. I just don't like the button nose, but I can't get away from it. Must be a nose job, which you can't afford. After bronzer, I go in with a little bit of blush. I'm definitely a blush girl. I love blush. I think it just brings color back to my face. I don't naturally have a blushed tone. Um, like, I don't blush easily or anything, so I'm definitely just a pale girl. So I'd like to add some color along with the bronzer. I've been obsessed with these puff paints recently. When I first got it, I wasn't a big fan, and I kind of sat them on the side. And now that it's been cooler outside, I think that they are just super natural and super light and sheer so I think they work really well with the winter months. Um, I'm using the color Beam. I first bought the color Puff. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's super pink. Um, this one's a little bit more corally, a little bit better with my hair color and I think I just like it a lot more. Today I'm applying just a little bit of eyeshadow from the I Think I Love You palette from ColourPop. I am obsessed with this palette. I can't believe I waited on it for so long. I mean, it was sold out a million times over when I was trying to order it. Um, and then it finally came back in stock and I ordered it and now I think it's gone. But if it's still there, I would definitely say grab it. I'm going in with the color My Treat. It's kind of a creamy color with a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, I have pretty veiny eyelids and I don't think you can see that in this video. They bother me so I like to just give them a little bit of coverage and a little bit of sparkle kind of brightens up my eyes since I am perpetually tired. I'm using an eyelash curler from Quo. This has been my ride or die for a million years. I should probably get a new one but you know priorities. I'm going in with a Joe Fresh Lash Plumping Mascara. This is one of my favorite products because it's a big time dupe for the Benefit Bad Gal Lash. That was my ride or die mascara all throughout high school. And then Joe Fresh started to create makeup and they definitely went after that product. This has the exact same wand and the formula really makes your lashes super thick and wide. They almost look like you're wearing falsies. So it's definitely a dupe for that product and a bang for your buck. This only retails for about $10. So definitely get on that. I realized that I needed some lip balm because again, hey, it's winter and my lips are dry. I got the balm.com and I ordered from Glossier and I'm obsessed with that product and I got the regular one 
so that I could use it on anything. Elbows, cuticles, you know, all that good stuff. To finish off this look, I'm going to be using the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick from Maybelline in the color 10 Flush Nude. I am obsessed with this color. This is basically my better than my lips color. I love these formulas so much. They really do last quite a bit. They don't dry matte where they're not going to move if you do something. Like they're definitely still very wet. So I don't suggest it if that's something that you're looking for, but this is definitely just an easy go-to. Something that you're, if you're willing to reapply here and there, then it's definitely going to work out for you. Normally every day I try not to use a blow dryer just because it's really bad for your hair. So I will get out of the shower, air dry for a little bit, pin it in some bobby pins, and then take it out once it's dry and hopefully have some beach waves. All right guys, that's the finished look. That is my everyday hair and makeup routine. I really hope that you liked the video and I hope that you can take something from this. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you in the next one, bye.